Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PSOC Challenge, where three teams of agile engineers are pitted against each other in a robot building battle royale. Who will be the smartest? Who will be the toughest? Who will be champion? Well, we're here up in Linwood and about to meet 15 of the smartest guys that I know. Uh, they know PSOC inside and out. We'll be having the PSOC Challenge. We're broken up into three teams. So with this, I turn it over to the chairman, Garang Kavaya. Welcome to first PSOC Challenge. We have exciting day ahead of us. Let me introduce teams first. The Crawlers, configurable robot autonomously walking the line. We are team Sockbot. Woo. Our team is Team Hermes. Hermes is the Greek messenger god, also known as the god of invention. Our first task is to go through rules. A small rule book, simple. We have a course. You need to get three tries to go through the course. The fastest time wins. The fastest time makes up 50% of your score. For remaining 50%, there are two factors. One, we we'll look at your design. So we have three judges. They will look at your design, and you get a point for PSOCiness using the PSOC capability. Remaining 25% is on a creativity. We have a 3D printer and anything else you can do to make it look cool. Each team gets the same parts. To help you, we have actually printed some parts for you that will help you mount sensors. If you want more, or if you want to do something different, we have a 3D printer in a corner. You can print any parts you want. And kit comes with everything like wheels, power supply connectors, some sensors. Depending on what you do, it may look like this. So these parts, as you can see, are printed parts. You can do something different. And we use a piece of kit to drive it. As a surprise, each team get to choose one surprise sensor. It could be a gyro, color sensor, and so on. This is a practice track. One of the things in a kit is a color sensor. If they can detect the color, they know this kind of turn is coming and they can get creative with it. As you can see, this is a 90 degree turn. So they can use a wall to detect, hey, it's 90 degree turn coming. You get three t chances. We count the fastest time. So ready? Okay, let's go. Team Hurry! Okay, so they're working on hardware. We each have firmware elements we're working on. Hopefully we'll have our robot assembled and ready to test in like an hour or so, two hours maybe. We have parsed out sensor tasks to Sean. Sean. And control tasks to Max. Mm -hmm. Dan and Todd are currently building the robot. Now, which sensor did you choose? Yeah, accelerometer. Why did you choose the accelerometer of the three? We're not sure yet, but we think we can do something brilliant and cool. Team Sockbot! So we have our line sensor expert. Uh, They're going to keep us, expert, keep us on okay. path for the entire day. I'm doing uh, the motors. The motors? Keep us okay. going and moving forward. We've got our color sensor expert. When I build my color sensor, I can calibrate the different colors. And then Greg gets to uh, do our distance sensor and robot assembly and, and whatever. Which extra sensor did you choose? We chose extra line sensor. This would allow us possibly to use extra information to go faster on the line and navigate oh, okay. the curves. I'm working on motor control. I've got a couple guys working on sensors. I've got Matt working on motor control as well. And we've got a couple guys dividing to do mechanical and creativity. Which extra sensor did you guys choose? The ultrasonic range find. We thought possibly depth and sensing the wall. Sensing this, the would wall. Be, this would be an enhancement for that. The teams have gotten their parts. They've been explained the rules and you've met them all. We'll come back next webisode and get into more detail of what they're actually doing and what they're actually accomplishing. Until then. I had problems, I have less problems now.